Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and I'm going to be continuing my Blender Modifiers tutorial series. Now, in the last one, we did the Remesh Modifier, which allows you to add or subtract vertices fairly simply by simply changing a few variables. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to skip the screw and the skin because I'm still working on figuring out how to explain those um, without confusing you guys. So we're going to jump right into the solidify modifier because this is a very important modifier and so I figured why not we just go ahead and do this one. So let's get started. Um, so to start off I'm going to just add it on there and you'll see that not much changes and not, not much is supposed to change even if I change this value but I have to get into like really high numbers in order for this to work. It's weird and um, I'm just gonna restart. So the solidify modifier like that if you just take it all the way up, on up eventually you will come to a point in which it will do that. And it's like four or five. Um, you actually need to have point one for it to work. So most people might be wondering, what does this do in, for my model? I'm going to hide it like this, and I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to subdivide twice so that I can do this. And then I'm going to delete these faces right here on all sides. Just so that we can... All right, that should be good. Uh, I'll do the top just for good measure. Now this is this modifier works with any object. I'm just using a cube because that's easy. So I'm just going to delete the faces, and you'll see that just puts a hole through it. Now, if you can notice, I talked about it a bit in the past, but these black, this black right here, will not show up in the rendering. So I think it's Shift Z. Um, in Blender Render, it's it will show up, but if you're making a 3D model for a game you would not want that. You would want to have all of these um, edges, so, like, especially since you can see inside of this object because all of these edges are going to be gone because of a thing called normals and engines like Unity 5 and Unreal um, calculate the normals on the outside generally unless there's more than one face. Well that's what the solidify modifier does. If I go ahead and check um, the eye so you can see it, it fixes all of those and if I zoom in you can see what it's done it has added vertices right there um, so before and it's just got one line and then after it's actually completely made a new set so I can even go like 0 0.05 and if I hit Z to get out of wireframe that will show up as long as you apply the modifier in here because it won't pick it up in um, Unity I believe so you have to apply it here and this works with any object I'm going to just move this over and I'm going to hit shift A and I'm going to add a UV sphere and I'm going to delete I'm going to hit C and I'm going to paint on a few vertices here and there uh, if you guys I just hit C and that's really all I did and I'm just painting on random vertices alright now I can rotate to the other side and I'm just drawing random crap. All right. So now, if I hit X, delete faces, um, that looks cool. But I mean, that could be a really cool object. But the problem is, you the one thing you and you could even do something like, hmm, where's that button? Oh yeah, it's not multiple flush. Never mind. So you could like. That would look good, except all that black area and that purple area will not show up in your game. So you just go and add a solidify modifier, and all those edges get fixed. And it's actually a really nice tool because you can make any object hollow or soft. And then also, what you could do as an advantage, if you wanted to make a moving texture simply, you could just add another another UV sphere and place that inside, and scale it down to like 0.95 or like 0 0.8, 0 0.5, Anyhow, you, you get the idea. Oh, I forgot, I had that button on. Yeah, so if you scale this down to like 
0.95, and then you gave this one, let's say, red, and this one, like an orangey, then you could have, like, these rotate around, and it could look, like, if I just hit rotate Z, you could have, like, almost a, I don't know, projector, like a globe. So that could be really cool. Also, if you know anything about projectors, you could actually use this as a light source. You could, um, with the new global illumination in Unity, you could set this as the light source, and then um, the inside one, and then you could set this to rotate around it, and then as it rotates around it, it'll cast cool shadows and stuff like that. So that's another use for that. Um, I'm gonna delete both of these materials. So that was the solidify modifier. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, before I leave, I want to say thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. That really means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. Um, also, if you follow us on Google+, you will know that we I recently put out a poll about live tutorials. I am happy to announce that we will be having a live tutorial soon. And the topic I have chosen is character creation. So that will be coming up soon, probably within the next few months. Um, I'm working on my content and stuff like that. And, getting all that done but we will have a live tutorial coming up soon it'll probably be an hour maybe, maybe an hour or less it'll be fairly long but I hope you guys will enjoy it I'm gonna try to go really slow and I'm also really excited because I get to read y'all's comments um, during the um, tutorial and I can respond to them I can even put them up on screen I think I don't know so yeah so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time